Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Claudia. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm, I'm fine. to have you here, my dear. We are just wait for a couple of minutes for people to join us, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. How was your day? So-so? Um, so-so. Okay, so. fine. Excellent. Very good. So tomorrow we are going to be in a half of the week, okay? Okay. So time is going fast. Imagine we are just in the middle of, of, almost in the middle of October, and then Christmas is coming very close. Okay, so I'm just going to open the platform in order to show you what part we are going to work today. And... the presentation that I have for you tonight. So this is our third week. So we just have like half of this week and the next week and then you finish. Welcome Carlita, welcome Carmen. Good to have you here my dear participants. We are just giving a couple of minutes for people to join us. Okay. So uh, we are going to start Simple Past today, but I want to connect you with the platform. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Okay, very good. Welcome again. Uh, I will expect that more people can join us tonight. We are going to continue with the platform. Remember that this is our third week. So it means that uh, we just have uh, two more classes, Wednesday and Thursday and next week, four more days. And then we finish the, sec the model number three, okay? So for today, we are going to start with the 4.2 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to form uh, positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. So we are going to study the simple past with regular and irregular verbs. And additionally, you will practice, in this case, a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in real life settings. And for this practice, you will have a video in the platform that explains the simple past statements with regular verbs. So I invite you to go and watch this video and practice as much as you can because this gives you um, the opportunity to improve your pronunciation but also that you can train your ear with uh, a, an American uh, native speaker as the one that appeared in the video. Then you have the 4.4 knowledge check. In this case, in this knowledge check, you will have the chance to uh, work with a simple uh, past tense of some verbs like wait, okay, watch, visit, and no call. We are going to learn how do we uh, form the negatives in the simple past. Uh, listen, cook, and work. Okay, so that's what we are going to do today. If time allow us, we are going to continue with the simple past with irregular verbs. So this is going to happen maybe tomorrow because today uh, we are going to learn how to sound natural when using regular verbs in simple past. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing. Hello, Lorena, welcome. I'm sorry, I'm late. Don't worry, we are just starting, so it's okay. Okay, uh, we recently introduced our topic today. Uh, I was explaining that we are going to start uh, the simple uh, past, but with regular verbs. And later we are going to study the simple past with irregular verbs. Okay, so uh, we are going to start saying that a simple past means an action that happened in the past, okay? So it's an action already done and that we uh, go back just to remember that this happened, but it doesn't have 
to do or it doesn't interfere with a present uh, with the present actions okay for example you say i played a computer game the regular verbs are quite easy because you don't have uh, you don't have to memorize the the past, the simple past, and the past participle, because basically they are the same, right? And uh, you don't have uh, you don't have problem by trying to learn them by heart, because you just um, learn the simple past, and then you automatically know the participle. So you say, I played a computer game. You studied math. He watched a talk show. She wanted to stay home. We cooked Italian food. They chatted online. If you notice, I'm changing the pronunciations of the past because it's not the same. So I'm going to show you later how to identify the different ways to pronounce the past in the regular verbs. Okay, when we are going to say negative sentences in the past, we normally use the auxiliary did, which is the past of do. In this case, if you remember in the simple present, we use does for he, for she, and for it, okay? But uh, for the past, you don't have to do this difference. You use did for every uh, subject pronoun. No, it doesn't matter. If it's I, you, he, she, it, you, we, and they, you use always D, okay? You say, I didn't play chess. You didn't study English. He didn't watch the news. She didn't watch to go out, want to go out, sorry. We didn't cook Chinese food. They didn't chat very long, okay? So in all the subject pronouns, you always use didn't. But, which is important for you to know and to remember, is that when you use the auxiliary did in a negative sentence or in a question, your main verb remains the same. Like in present tense, play, if you see, it remains in present, play, study, watch, want, cook, and chat because this is a negative sentence and you're using the auxiliary did, okay? And you say with the negative, you contract and say didn't. Okay, what about the, um, these rules? Uh, for the affirmative sentences, you just add the ed, okay? Since they are regular verbs, you just add the ed. I worked, he, she worked, uh, he, she, it worked, we, you, and they worked, okay? In this case, the work, the ED sounds a T. I will explain this later, okay? When you formulate a question, when you want to formulate a question, you say, did I, did I work? And in the negative, I didn't work. Did he, she, it work? Remember that since this is a question, you are using the auxiliary did, therefore the verb remains in present. Did he, she, it work? In the negatives, since you're using the auxiliary, the verb remains in present. He, she, it didn't work. Did we, you, and they work? We, you, and they didn't work. It means that only for the affirmative sentences in, in past, you use the main verb with the past tense. In the other cases, negative and question, you use the auxiliary did all the time. Okay, what about um, this in a chart? The infinitive is to ask. The past tense asked. The negative, did not ask, but remember that in the American English, we always contract and say, didn't ask, okay? To work, past tense, worked. Negative, did not work or didn't work. To call, called, didn't call or did not call. To use, used, did not use or didn't use. Okay, 
So here are more examples. Uh, basically, the simple past tense, uh, when they are regular, have some spelling rules, like the ones that appear here. For example, when a verb ends in E, basically you add the letter D. For example, live, lived, stare, stare. And I want to, um, and I want to explain this word, okay? Eh, quiero explicar esta palabra y en español para que quede un poquito claro. Eh, ustedes escuchan que dicen Facebook Live y eh, lo que pasa es que esta palabra eh, puede ser un verbo como lo estamos utilizando ahorita, live, vivir, y el pasado es lived, ¿verdad? I lived in Chalatenango for many years. Viví en Chalatenango por mucho, muchos años. Pero también es un adjetivo. Cuando yo digo Facebook Live, lo que estoy diciendo lo escribo igual, pero lo pronuncio diferente porque no estoy usándolo como verbo, sino como un adjetivo. Y digo Facebook en vivo. O estoy hablando de un talk show eh, live, ¿verdad? Un show eh, en vivo. Entonces aclaro esto para que no vaya a haber confusión en cuanto a por qué ustedes lo escuchan Facebook Live y se escribe así. O yo digo eh, live en lived cuando estoy hablando del verbo vivir, es porque cuando el verbo, la pronunciación es así. Es eh, diferente cuando es un Teacher, adelante. I'm sorry. Can you no, repeat how do you pronounce that, that example? I don't hear you. Face, you say Larry King live. El show de Larry King en vivo. Larry King show live. Live. Pero eso es cuando esta palabra... Usted la va a ver escrita igual, pero está siendo usada como adjetivo, no como verbo. ¿Sí? Live significa en vivo, ¿verdad? Como adjetivo. Pero en este caso, como verbo, decimos live. I live in San Salvador. Ese es el presente. Yo vivo en San Salvador. But many years ago, I used to live in Chalatenango. Pero hace muchos años yo vivía en Chalatenango. Entonces ahí digo live. D, con una D al final. ¿Sí? Entonces, como verbo se dice eh, live en, en presente y lived en pasado. ¿Sí? Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, hago la aclaración porque a veces me dicen teacher o me pronuncian live. Y yo les digo, no, cuando el verbo no se dice live, se dice live. Pero la palabra se escribe igual, la otra, ¿verdad? La de en vivo. Ok, you're welcome. Ending in vowel plus Y. When you have a verb, a regular verb, ending in vowel plus Y, you add ED, okay? And then you say stay, stayed, play, played, okay? In this case, you just have to add the ED. When there's a verb ending in a consonant plus Y, you change the Y to I and add ED. For example, try, you change this Y, right? And then you say tried, carried, carried. Okay, you change the Y for I and then you add ED. When you have one syllable, single vowel and ending in single consonant, you have to double the final consonant and add ed. Remember, single vowel, solo una vocal, ending eh, in single consonant, y termina en una sola consonante, then you double, double or duplicate the final consonant and add ed. For example, not, nodded, rip, ripped, okay? When you have two syllables, uh, you have to stress the second syllable and ending in single consonant, double the final consonant and add ed. For example, commit, uh, oops, excuse me, commit. You say committed, you have to duplicate because you stress uh, the second syllable. Commit, met, commit. Vean la fuerza de voz, ven el mit. Entonces, por eso tengo que Eh, eh, si eh, la fuerza de voz en el second syllable o syllable eh, en la pronunciación en presente 
yo tengo que agregar el T, en este caso double T, commit, committed, prefer, fur, prefer, preferred. I have to duplicate the letter R, okay, in this case. Um, okay, so I would like that you can take a picture of these rules, uh, please, and then we will go to our uh, exercise. Okay, so I'm going to take the picture and I'm going to send it to you. If you want to do it, you can do it. Okay. Teacher, can you send us the presentation? Yeah, if you want this, it's okay. In the WhatsApp group later. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let me share. Okay. Okay, there you go, here you are. So what you have to do now is to please work classifying the verbs according to the rule, okay? In this case, in the little circles, you have different verbs, okay? And then in the, in the charts, you have like the, the rule, and I would like that you can classify everyone, um, each of these verbs inside the little circles in the chart that corresponds according to the spelling rule, okay? So write the past simple of the verb in the correct list, please. Do you have questions so far on what we are going to do? Remember that you have two groups in this case. The first one, walked, plus ed, received plus, uh, just, do, in, the, in the first case you add ed, in the second case you add d, in the third case you change the y, then you change the y for i and add ed, and in the last you duplicate the last uh, consonant and add ed. Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, teacher. Ok, eh, vamos a tratar de clasificar los verbos según la spelling rule o la regla, ¿verdad? Que acabo de enviarles. Eh, ahí están clasificaditos ya las columnas y la idea es agarrar los verbos de los círculos y colocarlos en la que corresponde de acuerdo a la regla. Ok, we are going to have just two breakout rooms because we are just a few participants tonight. So let me create the rooms and please join. Por favor, si se unen. It's your time for practicing. Es su tiempo de práctica, ¿verdad? So please join. Thank you. My dear Carlita, do you have a problem by joining? Can you hear me, Carlita? Hello, hello, Carlita. Hello, is everything okay here? Hola. Hola, ¿todo bien por acá? Hi, teacher. Hi, hello. Hola, ahí está. Aquí estoy. Do you have questions? Aquí estaba teniendo un problemita. No, no, teacher. Okay, perfecto, okay? No, teacher. I'm going to leave you in order that you can continue working by yourself. We are going to have like three minutes uh, for the activity, so we are going to come back in like four to five minutes the most, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, you, teacher. see you. Bye. Hello, Carlita. Hola, Carlita. ¿Me puede escuchar? Yes. Es que tenía problemas con él. Ah, con el okay. botón. Vaya, la uno al grupo. Yes, please. Okay. ok, ahorita la mando. La voy a tener que mover al dos para...
Ok, ahí está. Tiene que haberle llegado nuevamente la invitación. No me aparece, Ticha. Hoy ya se la mandé, Carlita. <ríe> Véame ahí, tal vez en las ventanitas emergentes. Ahorita veo. Uh -huh. A veces no se miran. Sí. Sí, sí le llegó. Sí. Ok, please join. Thank you. Depends how much work do you have. And uh, in your work, normally, you, um, you have a schedule, a, a, yes. a close to the schedule. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Hello, my dears. <laughs> Hello, oh, my dear. dears. I just have added Carlita Veronica with your team in order that you can practice with her. Okay. 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 So she had uh, some problems with the audio, but now they uh, they are okay. So they it, it, it is okay. She corrected the, the audio problem. So she's joining. Ah, okay. 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 Thank you. See you in a minute. You're welcome, uh, Claudia. I don't have. Um, uh, Enjoy. Enjoy. Y ed. Porque termina en y. Hello, is everything okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Are you about to finish? No, no. Uh, so, so? No, todavía no. No yet? Okay. I'll give you no yet. a couple of minutes more, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Y Ed. Enjoy. Creo que sí se puede. That's it on that on it it on it. Why? Uh, ah, plan. Live is live equal just uh, letter B. Live. Live de lo que estaba hablando del Facebook Live, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes, yes, it's live. Y D, too. Y D, ajá, yes. Ok. Sería live, live. Okay. Live, live, live. Es que ahí me confundo yo, teacher, porque okay. por eso le preguntaba, porque no entiendo, o sea, el live, oh, no, bueno, eso es de vivir, ¿verdad? Sí, es el verbo. I Cuando... live, ajá, vale, si yo digo, yo vivo en I live in. Uh -huh, es correcto. Y el pasado, right. I lived. Lived. Con una D, I, I lived. I lived. Entonces yo le estaba diciendo a Claudia que no sabía o no, o sea, no, no sabía que el pasado se pronunciaba con una T. No, es con una D. Ya más adelantito vamos a ver eh, cómo se pronuncia, pero es con una D. I lived. Ah, 
hay unos que se pronuncian con T, unos que se pronuncian con D es. y otros con ET. Ahorita, después de esta práctica, Ajá. pasamos al, al pronunciation. Por eso quería yo que, que tal vez usted me pase la presentación porque eso sí, sí me interesa y, y de esa no tenemos como insumo. ¿verdad? Ahorita se los paso, con mucho gusto. Solo completamos Bye. ese ejercicio Gracias. y nos pasamos al, al pronunciation, ¿ok? Excelente. Ok. Ok, you have like two more minutes in order to finish, ¿ok? Ok. Hello, hello, my dears. Welcome back. Okay, we are coming back just in a couple of seconds. We are going to join us all together in order to continue with our practice and pronunciation of regular verbs past tense. Okay. Okay, welcome back. We are going to start now the plenary and we are going to ask, who was your practice? How did you classify the verbs? Who would like to share? No finish. <laughs> No yet? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. We can say no. here. For example, uh, according to the rule, let us try. According to the rule, where do you classify, for example, plan? Planet and the plane. In the first, second, third, or fourth column? The fourth. The fourth? Okay, it's the fourth, right? The fourth. Because you have to duplicate. If we are going to do just a couple, okay? Okay, so let's say here, plant, you duplicate and add ed. Okay, what about arrive? The second. Arrived. The first. It's already in the second, right? Okay, what yes. about uh, live? The second. In the second, right? Because the verb already finished in, in E, so you just have to add the ED, right? So you say live. 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 Live, okay? What about visit? Visit. Uh, and the second, on the, the first, on the second. The visit. visit. No, the first one. It's I in the first it's... one, right? Because uh, you have to add the ED. So you say visit. Visit it. Okay. Okay. What about study? Study. Okay. Study. Yeah. The second yeah. one. Yeah. Ah. It's, there. it's already here, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's here. Yeah. Okay. And what about walk? It's already here, right? Uh, yeah. What about paint? The fourth. Paint. paint. The, the, the first one. It's the first one, right? Because you ha you have oh. to add the ed. So you say. Uh, painted. 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 Okay. Painted. Okay, what about enjoy? The time. Enjoy is the third one. Okay, the in the third one, because you have to mm, no. Enjoy in this case is like this one. Uh, you add, add just the ED. Okay, you say enjoy, enjoyed. 
Okay. What about try? Uh, on the third. Yes, try, try is in the third, okay? The first one. Once you, try, the you third. change, you say here try, try, and then you change the Y for I and then add ED, okay? What about um, taste? I mean, carry, carry. Carry. Carry, carry. is the third one. Okay, third it's one. like this, right? You say yes. carry, you change, and then add ed. You change the y and then add ed. What about cry? It's already and the third, try. Right? Yes. The third. Okay. What about taste? And the first? the first one. Yes, it's in the first one. Okay, so let me go and say here stay. Taste. And just add ed. What about stop? It's already here, right? Receive. Stop. Receive. 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 In the, the second one. It's already here, right? Excellent. Drop is already here. In the ball. Okay. Enter. First one. Okay. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. <gasps> <laughs> I disappeared and I said, oh my gosh, where did it? <laughs> okay, let's let's do this. Enter. And say enter. Okay. Enter. Okay, what about uh watch? The first watch one. Watch the first one. Okay, so we can continue writing, but let's let's say only and work. The first, first one. one. Okay, and what about cook? The first, the first one. one. Okay, excellent, excellent. So now, that's the way you classify the, the past tense of the verbs according with the spelling rule. It means the rule that you follow in order to properly write the, uh, the past of each of those verbs. Now, uh, let me skip this because this is an extra exercise I have for you. It's similar to this one that we already did because I want to skip and I want to uh, show you the way you have to pronounce, okay? How do we pronounce ed, okay? The pronunciation of words ending in ed depends on the final consonant sound, okay? You learn this by heart. It's not the consonant written, it's the consonant sound, okay? And there are three ways to pronounce ed. I will say it in Spanish in order that this can be very, very clear. La pronunciación de las palabras cuando terminan en ed, ¿verdad? El verbo en pasado depende de la consonante final, no el carácter escrito, sino el sonido en que termina, ¿sí? Y hay tres formas de pronunci pronunciarlo. For example, ed. Those are for the ones that eh, ends in t. Or D, for example, want. You say wanted. Eh, a ver, la forma base de este verbo, want, suena ch. Entonces digo wanted en el pasado, porque en el pasado me suena ed. O cuando eh, mi base form of the verb ends in D, cuando la forma base del verbo termina en D, como need, ni pasado termina en ed, needed. Y aquí, so, when I have words with uh, the, um, the end of the word is T or D, I pronounce ED. ED in the past. T in, in the, the past. past. Okay. And okay. if I have P, T. Okay, let me explain right now, right now, okay. When you, uh, let's recognize which is a voiced sound. Uh, when you have a voiced sound, you use your vocal cords. Here, in your sore, right? In your neck here, you feel your vocal cords. When you speak, you feel that they vibrate, okay? They produce a vibration or human sound in the throat. If you touch it, you will feel it, okay? For example, ¿qué es un voiced? Cuando usted, cuando usted dice, a ver, vamos a repetir todas las, las, las letras que están acá, donde está la D final, acá. Diga, L. Uh, usted va a sentir que vibra. Mm. 
Mm. Er, er. Póngase los deditos aquí en la garganta, como yo lo hago. No, ese no, eh, ese suena, en, eh, es, suena más voiceless, pero ¿por qué está ahí? Porque dice use, ese es use, sí, sí, sí se siente, ¿verdad? Ya cuando lo combino, use, sí. Um, pronunciamos la palabra, call, call, clean, offer, er, damaged, love, use, ajá, ahí la S sola no suena, pero el, cuando digo use, ahí sí vibra, follow, uh, follow, enjoy, enjoy, amaze, amaze, entonces sí vibra, entonces eso es un voiced, es un sonido, valga la redundancia, sonoro, ¿verdad? Pero estas otras, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando yo las pronuncio, de nuevo, hagamos el ejercicio, toquémonos la, la, la garganta y digamos help. No siente la misma vibración, ¿cierto? Look, tampoco. Wash, mm -mm. watch, mm -mm. laugh, mm -mm. breathe, mm -mm. kiss, excuse me, kiss. Dance, no. Fix, no. Entonces tiene que ver con el sonido con que termina la forma base del verbo. Entonces, si mi verbo termina con, una, eh, con un sonido que no es sonoro, valga la redundancia, o es un voiceless, entonces yo al final del verbo lo voy a pronunciar con T. Y así yo digo... Helped. Claro, aquí ya, ya no, va, no va a sonar mucho, ¿verdad? Acá, pero si mi forma base dice eh, que no suena, ¿verdad? Help. Esa P no suena para nada. Entonces yo, mi, mi terminación del pasado de esos verbos, que son voiceless, la forma base, eh, digo helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed. Danced, fixed. Again, helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. On the contrary, for the voiced, para los que su forma base termina en una letra que me hace eh, vibrar mis cuerdas vocales como call, clean, Offer, damage, love, use, follow. Entonces yo los pronuncio los pasados con D y digo cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. And only the ones that end in T and D I say I did. For example, wanted, needed, because this verb ends in T. Want, wanted, need, needed. Okay, I have here more. Do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, okay. I'm going to send you this presentation uh, just because I know that you will need it. Okay, I know that this is a very small letter, but when you receive the presentation, you can do a Zoom in your computer. But here, for example, the ends in ED, you pronounce T, right? ED is pronounced T, excuse me, after verbs ending in voiceless sounds like except T, ¿ve? La T y la D son, la eh, T y D son excepciones a estas tres reglas. Entonces yo digo, announced, cooked, walked, talked, finished, typed, danced, watched, looked, missed, rushed, hoped. Excuse me, voy a poner el, el spotlight porque está muy chiquito. Eh, Donde iba, hoped, wished, dressed, practiced. Coughed, 
helped, developed, knocked, snatched, stepped, punished, hushed, hushed up, mixed up. Vea cómo se pronuncian estos que van to, to word eh, verb. Mixed up. El, la T la recibe el primero, ¿verdad? El up se queda tal cual. Hushed up. ¿Ok? Wrapped. Teacher. Adelante. Este, pero yo le voy a, o sea, lo voy a tomar en cuenta con el verbo en su tiempo presente, ¿verdad? Sí, es correcto. La terminación, el sonido de la terminación que hace el verbo en su forma base presente. ¿Sí? Oh, correcto. Ok, va. no las pronuncia todas por el tiempo, pero veamos las siguientes. D. ED is pronounced D after verbs ending in voiced sounds. Sonidos sonoros. Excepto D. Vean. En este caso, eh, los terminados eh, en T son la excepción. En este caso, los terminados en D son la excepción. ¿Sí? Entonces yo digo, uh, ¿cuáles son los, los eh, voice sounds? Todos los que les pronuncié, ¿verdad? Eh, en, los, en los anteriores. Entonces yo digo, eh, lived, climbed, phoned, weighed, arrived. Porque si usted pronuncia arrive, ahí está, ¿verdad? Ahí está el... Ok, enjoyed, opened, started, copied, mailed, called, borrowed, hurried, signed, played, carried, moved, pulled, wondered, killed, married, believed. Preferred, teased, closed, accused, strolled, and so on. You can continue, right? And the exceptions, the T and D that I have as exceptions here, they are the ones that I pronounce as ED, okay? For example, ED is pronounced uh, it after verbs ending in T or D, okay? For example, suggested, voted, wanted, shouted, hunted, adopted, emigrated, started, visited, investigated, attended, affected, added, hit it, chatted, sorted, regretted, was wasted, interrupted, minded, Sounded, counted, demanded, stood it, hesitated, proceeded, succeeded, assisted, grounded, lifted, overreacted, bounded, pretended, twisted, and so on, and many, many more, okay? So remember, the ones that end in the base form with a voiceless sound T. Recordemos, los verbos que en su forma base, en tiempo presente, el sonido, no la letra que está escrita, el sonido en el que termina es eh, un voiceless, es decir, que no me vibran las cuerdas vocales, entonces el pasado lo hago con una T, ¿verdad? Los verbos cuya forma base en el presente terminan en un sonido sonoro que me vibra la cuerda vocal cuando lo pronuncio, mi pasado va a sonar D. Y las excepciones a esas dos son los que terminan en T, ¿verdad? O en D. Hoy no voy a dormir, teacher. En la, en la forma base. ¿Verdad? Del presente, ellos me suenan ED. I know when you see this like confusing and oh my God, how well I will get this in my mind and it's a lot of information, but step by step. Pasito a paso. Yo primero me aprendí one row. Me primero me aprendí una línea. Primero identifiqué que es un voiceless y que es un voiced. ¿Sí? 
once I have that clear, I started learning the ones with T and the ones with D and the exception with ED. That's it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's relax. Relajémonos un poquito, okay? Uh, now, I will send the material, only this one, in order that this can uh, be of help for you. Now, uh, let's work together solving this. Trabajemos juntas y juntos resolviendo este ejercicio. Answer these 16 questions to score your knowledge of fat simple um, grammar, okay? So, my, cl my classmate and I, entonces, pero quiero que hagan el esfuerzo de pronunciarme el verbo según la regla de pronunciación. Eh, ¿Cuál sería la forma correcta? Ask. 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 Ok. Ask. Ajá. I say T at the end. You say T at the end. Asked. 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 Ajá. Asked. Esa es una T explosiva al final, ¿verdad? Hay... Va, entonces decimos la oración completa. My classmate and I. My classmate and I asked our, our teacher a question, question about, about the test. test. Ok, excellent. Number two. John wanted to. Vea, wanted. ¿Por qué wanted? Y want it. Porque termina en T, ¿verdad? Wanted. Want or wanted. Si lo quiere decir al estilo British, ¿verdad? Wanted or wanted. To. To went. To went. Okay. Yes, to went to went work yesterday, but he was sick. sick. Okay. Este went se nos pasó, vea, porque el went es un irregular y este es un ejercicio para regular, pero se nos pasó. Okay, number three. They to the didn't play. walk. Didn't walk. They didn't walk. Recuerden que con este walk, walk. la L no walk. suena. Es walk. Didn't walk. They didn't walk. walk. To the, to the park, park. they didn't walk to the park because they, they were very tired. tired. ¿Cómo suena ese tired? Tired. 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 Es con la D, ¿verdad? Tired. 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 Es un voiceless, entonces suena con la D. Tired. Ok. Tired. Did you walk? Tired. Uh, yes, tire, tire, la er, er, tire, tired, suena una de, ¿verdad? Ok, porque es un voiced, uh, sí wow. suena su cuerda, cuando usted dice tire, la base del verbo, sí le suena su cuerda vocal, entonces va con de, tired, uh -huh. al final. Ok, four, did you, did you talk to your boss? Yes, I did. Um, okay. Yes, I, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. No, yes, I did. En ese caso, eh, ah, yes, solo I queda did. yes, I did, como una respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, number nine. I had two dinner last night, so, I'm, so I couldn't watch the TV program. Cookies. Cook. Mm, pasado. Cook. 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 Mm, Cook. ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa ID ahí? Diga cook. Cooked. Uh, cooked, cooked. Ajá, con T. Cooked. Cooked. Mm -hmm. cooked. I have okay. to cook dinner last night, so I couldn't okay. watch the TV program. Okay, very good. Okay, 10. Did you, the book, no did I. You, did you finish? Mm -hmm. No, finish. I didn't. Ok, very good. Es una pregunta, ¿verdad? Entonces, como es pregunta, mi verbo sigue en la forma base, presente, did you finish? Y entonces, en la respuesta corta, ahí sí le agrego el didn't para decir no, ¿verdad? I didn't. Ok, no, I didn't. Yes, excellent. Number 11. Why you wash the dirty dishes last week? Why didn't. Okay. Why didn't you uh -huh. wash the dirty Dirty dishes last, last week. Last dirty. How okay. do you say dirty or dirty? You can say dirty if you are in like in the British English, but in the American English they say dirty. Even they say dirty. dirty. Yeah, even they say dirty. dirty, and you have to understand that it's dirty. 
Okay. Okay. You can listen dirty or dirty. Okay. okay. He. She attended he yesterday. Wanted, he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Wanted to. Wanted. 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 Ajá, porque se wanted. recuerda que es el ejemplo yes, del okay. wanted. He wanted, voy a hacer wanted or wanted. He wanted to see a dentist okay. yesterday because he had a toothache. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's continue. Okay. He, he waited. He waited. To edit. Waited. No, sí. He waited. Waited. Ajá, uh -huh, porque es T. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes for the bus But yesterday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wanted, verdad? Waited. Perdón. Waited. He waited. Wa he waited porque terminan t wait. Entonces es ed. He waited twenty minutes for the bus yesterday. Okay, excellent. Number six. They did, fix. Did. Uh -huh. Did. Did they fix. The bicycle. Did and. Uh, and. Yes. Fixed. Just they did. Just they. Oh. Yes, did, did. Uh -huh. Did they fix their bicycle? Yes, they did. Letter A. Did, did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Porque es respuesta corta, ¿verdad? Short answer. Tomorrow we are going to work more on the short answers in the simple past. Ok, number seven. Okay. Where, where did you go? Ok, did you go? Where, where did you go to school when you were young? Ok, that's a question. So if you see that the main verb go remains the same because you're using the auxiliary, did. Ok, number eight. Did. They like it. Go. Copy. Mm -hmm. They like it. But, pero ese like, la, like uh, ¿cómo me va a sonar? Like. Like. Con T, like ¿verdad? It. Porque cuando usted dice like, la, la K, esa no, no suena. Es voiceless. Entonces, es T. Like. Liked. Liked. They liked. liked go camping in a park when they were children. Very good. Okay, number 13. I at the library very late last night. Stay, stay. I was stay. stayed. No. No, no I, I stayed. stayed. Porque si me dice was stayed, the double past. Entonces yes. solo es uno, ¿verdad? Stay, yes. stay. I stayed. Pero stayed. ¿cómo lo quedaría? Stay. I stayed. 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 Es con D, ¿verdad? I stayed. Porque cuando usted dice I stay, y, y, sí suena mi al court. Entonces es con D. I stayed at the library very late last night. Late last night. Ok, very good. Mr. Johnson, for help when he fell in the water. Shoulder. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se queda ese shout? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Shout. Shout. Mm, Shout. Shout. los que terminaban Shout. en? Shout. Tate, Shout. En T y D, ¿verdad? Entonces, shout it. Terminaban Shout en T. Shout it. Shout it. Recuerden, los que terminan en la forma base en T o en D, el pasado okay. es ED. Uh -huh. Mr. Johnson, uh -huh. shout it for help yeah. when he for fell help. in the water. Ok. 15. She didn't answer she the did. phone because she what uh, she she didn't she didn't uh -huh. she, she didn't, didn't hear it ring yeah. it's a negative verdad no contestó el teléfono porque no escuchó she didn't hear y vean que el verbo está eh, remains in simple here yes. hear. hear it ring okay 16. I tennis yesterday because I don't know how to play tennis. I didn't, I didn't play. Pero it didn't play or didn't play. Play. No, it didn't, didn't play. play. Letter C. Letter C. Ajá, exacto. Porque estamos usando el auxiliar, entonces el verbo se mantiene en su forma base. Infinity. I mm -hmm. didn't play tennis yesterday because I don't know how to play tennis. Okay, very good. And oops, excuse me. Um, just let me show you. 
just to close uh, for tonight, uh, we are going to continue working with the past, the, the, the whole week, okay? Remember that uh, we, we um, um, compress, we uh, contract, did not, didn't, did not is equals to didn't, okay? You say, yeah. I played tennis, you played tennis, he, she, it played tennis, we and they played tennis. I, you, he, she, it, we, they didn't play tennis. Vea, cuando estamos usando el didn't en una oración negativa, el verbo se mantiene igual. Solo es en las oraciones afirmativas que agregamos el ed y con su respectiva pronunciación, ¿verdad? When we are going to ask a question, we use the auxiliary did at the beginning of the sentence and we say, did I play tennis? Did you play tennis? Did he, she, it play tennis? Did we or they play tennis? And the possible short answers, yes, I did, uh, or no, I didn't, right? Or yes, you did, no, you didn't. Uh, yes, he, she, it did, no, he, she, it didn't. Yes, we did. Yes, they did. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. Okay, so that's the short answer. Okay, the last one, el último. It said, fill in the blanks to complete the sentences, study the boxes above. According to that, this, I waited, I guess, ed, ¿verdad? Porque termina con t. I waited 10 minutes for the bus. Sec number two. He usually walks to work, but he not walk. Work. Is it not, um, is it not walk? ¿Qué significa? Uh, que es una negativa, ¿verdad? Didn't walk. Uh -huh. didn't walk. But he didn't walk to work yesterday. I was really surprised, pero en pasado. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Surprised. 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 ¿Cómo lo pronuncio? Mm -hmm. Surprised. Con T, ¿verdad? Surprised. 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 The, 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 surprised. I was surprised surprised. when my friend cooked. Con T, cooked. ¿verdad? Cooked. cooked. Dinner. Very cooked. good. Dinner. Ajá. Y la siguiente es pregunta. ¿Cómo dijimos que comienzan las preguntas? Did you, did you, did you order? Did you order? Ajá, y el order se queda igual porque usé did. Entonces, did you order your food? Yes, we? Yes, we did. Ok, number five. My friends not play. Didn't play. My friends didn't, didn't play tennis because it was too because hot was too outside. Hot. Ok, Troy want uh, to study. Troy wanted. Want. Wanted. Wanted. Wanted or wanted, ¿verdad? Wanted to uh, study wanted to. for the final study. Ese to study se queda así. Eh, no le ponemos pasado porque está en infinitivo. To study. Entonces el que sigue en pasado es el want y decimos wanted or wanted. wanted. Okay. Wanted. First, we. First, boiled. First, we boiled. Boiled, boiled con de, ¿verdad? We boiled. boiled the water, the water and then and we, we, we put it put it put it con de, ¿verdad? put it put it put it into a cup ok porque ese er, cuando le digo per si sí, me vibra aquí entonces el... Roberto solo nos escucha teacher que pronuncie también no es justo <ríe> Robertío <ríe> Ya casi a terminamos. Ver. Ok, eh, yo creo que ya están cansados, eh, pero terminémoslo, vale la pena. Number eight. They ya have... siento la lengua dormida. Es una pregunta, ¿cómo comienza? Did. Did they laugh? Ese laugh te queda laugh. igual porque usé did. Did they laugh? Did they laugh? Did they laugh? Your joke. Es como no, they didn't. se rieron de tu broma. Vea, add your joke. No, they didn't. No, they ok, didn't. siguiente pregunta. What time, what time did you arrive 
mm -hmm. arrived, arrived the the con de, arrived oh, at bye. school this bye. morning. Okay, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed. Landed, landed. muy bien. Landed. landed on the moon in July 1969. 69. Okay, what? In pasado. What did, what did, did you? Did you do? What did, what you, did do? you do last Saturday? Muy bien. El do se queda igual porque usé did, ¿verdad? Al inicio en la pregunta. When I was a baby, I cried. Cried. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Eh, ¿Se acuerda? El spelling dice que I changed the Y and I add ED. But when I say cry, 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 it sounds, me suena, ¿verdad? Yeah. Es al cord. Entonces es con D. Cried. I will, I will tell you. Uh, give me one second. Mm. Ah, okay. I can't <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's the way. When I was a baby, I cried a lot. Okay? Letter 13. I mean, number 13, letter A. Did you fix it's your bicycle? Two bags. Uh huh. No, I didn't. No, no I, didn't. I didn't. Excellent. Number 14. The bag was, was very heavy. heavy but I carried. ¿Cómo pronuncia Carriel. este pasado? Carriel. Carriel. Con D, ¿verdad? Carriel. Porque uh -huh. cuando usted dice carry, re, re, e, e, me, me vibra acá. Entonces, I carry it. I carry it. But I carry it. I carry it. it. Vea esa pronunciación. I carry it. Carried. Hagámoslo. I carry it. it. I carry it. it. Carry it. Se complejiza okay. porque es, termina con D y luego sigue un IT. Entonces une, ¿verdad? I carried it. Carried it. Mm -hmm. Carried it. To the truck. To the truck. Carried it. Ok, 15. How many times did you text to your friends yesterday? To your okay. friends. Yes. Excellent! Congrats! You did it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it's not an easy task, but that's the past of the regular verbs. Uh, as I always say, they are easy to memorize, they are easy to learn because they, they are the same, the past with the past participle, but the past pronunciation is the difficulty there, okay? Es como que me diga el participio, el presente, el no sé qué. El... Ajá, de los irregulares. Vean, eh, la situación es esta. Eh, con los regulares es fácil eh, porque no tenemos que memorizar pasado y pasado participio porque básicamente es el mismo. La dificultad con estos verbos es aprender la pronunciación correcta del pasado, según lo hemos visto ahora. Vamos a pasar luego a los irregulares y ahí sí es otra historia, porque ahí sí es aprenderse by heart, to memorize, present, past, and past participle, ¿verdad? Y con su pronunciación y todo. But it's not impossible, remember, that practice makes the master. La práctica hace al maestro, así que no se me eh, preocupen, little by little, poquito a poco, ¿verdad? Okay, I'm going to share uh, the presentation with you for your request. And please go to bed, rest, be safe. And I hope to see you tomorrow here. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Okay.